Stay Puff 395 here today. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you the UNSC Gosshard versus Covenant Locust. Um, so if, right, uh, I was at Toys R Us today and uh, saw like three or four of them. A lot of people say it's hard to find. I don't think so. But anyways, uh, front just shows battle scene. On the back it shows the battle scene too, but you know. Such a big box, and I've already opened it. I don't want a lot of things falling out. So, let me go ahead and build this, and I'll do the full review on it. So, step up there in your five. See ya. Alright, so, uh, I built this yesterday. To tell you the truth, uh, I did the unboxing video yesterday. And I built the guys yesterday, both vehicles, except for the fact that it took me about two to three hours. Um, and that's pretty close to exact since, you know, I started at eight. Didn't get finished until like 11 ish. I don't know exactly the times. So, you, you know, it was, it took a long time to build this. But on the same part, I don't mind that. Now you're probably asking, well, if it takes so long, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you mind it? The reason I don't mind it is because, you, you know, sure, it took a lot longer. But first of all, that looks cool. That looks cool. Okay. And they don't fall apart that, that easily. You just see here. I mean, they don't have crappy little hinges in here. They have nice little hinges that can make it so it stays where you want it to. This comes down. It falls off, but, you, you know, it, it's hingeable. So it goes right back on. It doesn't destroy any, a lot of things. You know, at times, you know, I'm not going to try putting that on. See? It may fall off. That's just actually my first time it fell off, to tell you the truth. But, you know, it's actually really easy to get back on. Like, here, I'll show you what I mean. Like, see, I just got back on in about five seconds. So it's not that hard. Uh, very nicely detailed uh, overall. Right, it looks nice. Guy can go back there. Uh, you got the little propane tanks, some bullet marks, which are all stickers. A lot of stickers on this. Again, but you know, don't really worry about it. If you worry about it, it's just going to bring you down. Uh... One of the reasons it was a little bit harder to build it is because since it did come with two vehicles, a lot of the blocks were mixed up since they tried making it so you can't just steal one or two bags. Which is smart on one part, but dumb on the other because you have to open them all up. But, you know, I don't mind it too much. Um, the Elite can fit in there. But the only reason I have them out is because it comes with an energy sword. As you see here, um, very nicely detailed. It's... Like an ab thing going on. I don't know. But, uh, nice energy sword. Look, it's very nice looking, and uh, it's it's relatively a uh, nice figure overall. So you know, I'll, I'll put him in there for you, just to show you what he kind of somewhat looks like. I don't know what he looks like, to tell the truth, because I haven't really done it yet. So I've kept him out, like I told you. Um. So. Uh, one second. Another thing is you get this little grunt, but I have him doing something else. Um, so he fits in pretty well. Uh, he has little things to grab onto. Okay. And it looks like he's pretty much looking at the screen. Okay. So relatively, it's nice looking. Uh, let me put on the head thing first. So you can actually kind of get mostly what it looks like. So as you see, it does fit with him in it and everything. So he's in it now. So it does fit. I'm trying to show you, but see how he's in there? You can kind of see him. You can see his legs. So he's he's in there, and this is very nicely done. Looks like something from the Banshee, though, to <laughs> the truth. But um, so I, I don't mind it at all. It's one of the fewer ones that actually has a good cockpit for it. So I'm just going to keep him in there for now and I'll get him later on. But uh, I'll show you the grunt. Grunt has the same pretty much thing. It goes up and down. The reason I have him like this. Here, let me show you a better look of him. So he's good mas gas mask and stuff. He has legs still move by the as one. But the only reason I have him like this is because 
um, if you see my collection video, I kind of redid a lot of things for my thing. I have more of a battle going on. And, uh, what I did is I actually, uh, made it so he was running away scared. So, that's the reason that's like that. Uh, let's get to the go Gosshog. A lot more better built. I can just tell, uh, you know, these are a lot better. The hooks, they don't fall off. Uh, it's a lot easier to put on the stickers since it doesn't fall apart. Uh, Gosshog moves a lot, the gun moves a lot better. Overall, it's a lot better, okay? Uh, I don't have anyone driving it because of the fact that, you know, in my battle scene, I have them getting killed. But, you know, overall, it is a nice, uh, fig, uh, minifig. Um, for the Mega Box, it kind of, they made it so it looks nice now. See how it has, like, a, more of, like, a gold, like, a greenish tint. Um, but, uh, so, you know, that's, that's that. I'm sorry, my phone's ringing right now, and, uh. I gotta do the review, but anyways, um, so overall, it, it is a very nice, it is very nice, I mean, really go pick this up, it is a little more on the expensive side, but, uh, since it is expensive, I guess it makes up for it, relatively, um, it makes up for the fact that, you know, it, it is good, and, you know, it makes up for the last one, which wasn't that good at all, and overall, it did impress me, it, it from, the steps up from uh everything it was really really nice and you know i i, I like the energy sword i think it was a cool idea i think it's one of the first uh that come with an energy sword but you know i i didn't mind this uh figure the only thing i i the only i'm thinking of uh the action figures but this mega box you know you're thinking oh it's just gonna be another letdown it was actually not a letdown Sure, it's a pain in the butt to build. I mean, seriously, it's a pain. But, you know, overall, I mean, you're looking at these two finished pieces, and they look very nice. Uh, even the little figs that come with them look very nice. So, you know, overall, you can't complain, to, I don't think. I mean, if you, you do, you gotta give me a uh, pretty good reason. So I'm sticking with mine saying that this is good. So really go pick one of these up. Uh, this is Stay Pothering in 5. See ya.